We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Papa God. We thank you, Savior. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Papa God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Papa God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Papa God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. I love to be in the presence of the Lord. I love to be in the presence of the Lord. There is joy forevermore in the presence of the Lord. There is joy forevermore. In the presence of the Lord. Oh, I love to be in the presence of the Lord. Oh, I love to be in the presence of my Savior. There is joy forevermore. In the presence of the Lord. There is joy forevermore. In the presence of the Lord. Oh, I love to be in the presence of my Savior. Oh, I love to be in the presence of my Lord. There is joy forevermore in the presence of my Lord. There is joy forevermore. In the presence of my Lord, oh, I love to be in the presence of my Savior. Oh, I love to be in the presence of my Savior. There is joy forevermore. In the presence of the Lord, there is joy forevermore. In the presence of my Lord, oh, I love to be in the presence of my Savior. Oh, I love to be. In the presence of my Lord, there is joy forevermore. In the presence of my Lord, there is joy forevermore. In the presence of my Lord, who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like unto thee. Oh, Lord, I'm on the gods. Oh, yes, I did. Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Do his wonders. Hallelujah. Oh, it's like unto the daddy. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, who oh, is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, I'm on the gods. Oh, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. No, a wonder, hallelujah. Who is like unto thee, daddy? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, I'm on the Oh, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Do we want the salary? Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord who is like our Father. There is no other God else like our God, our Maker, our Redeemer, precious Savior, our Daddy, Almighty God, sweet Daddy that loves his children, sweet Daddy that cares for his children, everlasting Father. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I bless God Almighty for blessing us again with another, another brand new day. We thank God for God. I greet you all once again. May the Lord bless you all for joining. May the Lord bless you all for, for tuning in. I thank God for today. Father God, everlasting Savior has given me message, message to come and deliver to you, to myself. So the message is not just only for you. The message is not just only for me, it's for both of us. As a child of God, as you and now we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, we're in the journey. Long journey till we see our savior, till we see our monster. Before that journey, <laughs> we will have a rest in that journey. We bless the name of the Lord. So today the message for Father God has given to me is to remind you and I the importance of our helper. The importance of the Holy Spirit. We are talking about our sweet Holy Spirit today. Holy Spirit the Holy Trinity the God the Father the God the Son the God the Holy Spirit. They are three in one. You and I we cannot separate them. We cannot say that I believe God, Jesus, I don't believe Holy Spirit. Or I believe God, I believe Holy Spirit, I don't believe in Jesus. It is not working. They are three in one. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, and the God, the Holy Spirit. They are one. We bless the name of the Lord. So we are talking about the importance of the Holy Spirit. The vital role that he plays in our lives. His mission for being here, for you and I, his mission is to help you and I. His mission is for you and I to make heaven, for him to help us, to direct us in the right way. The path Father God set for you and I to pass through till we get home. But with the Holy Spirit, we cannot able to follow that path. Why? Because our Father, Almighty God, is holy. You and I cannot please Him with flesh. We cannot please him with flesh. I thank God. He, unknowing God, knows if I don't send a helper to direct them, to lead them in this path, they cannot, they, they couldn't able to follow this path. They cannot do it with their own to their own strength. Even though we, we think we could do it, but Almighty God knows 
you and I cannot do it with our own strength. We flesh. We need the spirit of God to lead you and I every day. That's why you and I must believe the Holy Spirit. You and I must reverence Holy Spirit every day of our lives. Because of you, because of me, it's here. It's here because of you and I to lead us, to guide, to, to guide us, to comfort you, to comfort us. Please, if you are the one, you don't rely on the Holy Spirit. You don't believe on the Holy Spirit. Please, I want you to believe as from today. Believe without Holy Spirit, you can, you and I cannot please Almighty God. We need the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord says, He the one that searches what is in the mind of God. He's the one that knows what is in the mind of God. You and I, we don't know what is in the mind of God. Holy Spirit knew. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God that bless us with a helper. Our helper. So, Father God doesn't want us to do it alone. He knows it. <laughs> it's a hard work. For you and I said we want to do it, uh, run the heavenly race alone. It's a hard work. We cannot be able to succeed. We, we think we can do it, but with that Holy Spirit, we, we just drop on the way. But with the Holy Spirit, it will give us that grace to persevere till we see Master Jesus. Till we see on that day, we close our eye in death. Father God, we said, come, enter into my glory. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit. You and now we must know he's so important in our lives. You and I must rely on the Holy Spirit. You and I must trust in him. Our helper. Sweet Holy Spirit. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, our, say, our, our helper, the happy now, join us to to our Savior, testify our Lord Jesus Christ to us. By you and I, we came to Jesus. By you and I, I surrender to Jesus. It was by the help of the Holy Spirit. It's, it was not by the help of, uh, it was not by the help of man that make you that made you and I to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. It was by the help of the Holy Spirit. You and I must understand the importance of our Holy Spirit. So we are going to read some scriptures and see how Holy Spirit helped the children of God in the scripture. He that did it by them, is this is the same Holy Spirit that leading you, leading me right now? He will lead you and on. Let us trust in Him. Let us rely on Him. Let us depend on Him. Because you and I, we cannot, we cannot fight the flesh by our own strength. I thank God for God. The word of the Lord said, you and I should walk in the spirit so that you and I will not fulfill the laws of the flesh. So that that means that the flesh has a, has a, a stronger, the power, it has a power to control us if, 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 if not the help of the Holy Spirit to able to put them, put the flesh on our feet. 
We should not neglect him. We shouldn't say, Holy Spirit is it. Holy Spirit is a person. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is a person. Let us reference him. You come into the presence of God. You pray and acknowledge him. Because he's there. You are praying is there and it has it for you. And not let him. That is why he called a helper. To help you and I is this journey. Hallelujah. Please, I would like us to open to the word of God. The book of Genesis. 41 verse 38. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. The book of Genesis 41 38. We thank God for God. Hallelujah. Amen. I read in Jesus' name. And the Pharaoh said unto his uh, servants, Can we find uh, such a, a one as uh, this is? A man in uh, whom the Spirit of God is. Pharaoh, the pagan king, The pagan king could see that the spirit of the Lord God is upon Joseph. Praise Master Jesus. It was not Gese, it was obvious that he could see that the spirit of the Lord God is upon Joseph. Praise Master Jesus. And the Spirit of the Lord God led Joseph to the things that he did. It was the help of the Holy Spirit. But Joseph depends on the Holy Spirit and the, the pagan king could see it on, on him. You and I want to be successful in life. You and I want to be succeed in life. Joseph success, succeed in life by the help of the Holy Spirit. You and I, we desire, and what Almighty God still desire for you and I to succeed in life. Not letting the flesh rule us. He wants the Holy Spirit to, to guide us, to lead us, so that we will be successful in life. You see? Because of the Holy Spirit, the Lord brought Joseph, shared brought Joseph's life. Read about the Brad Joseph. Brad Joseph. Holy Spirit was upon him. Makes him to fear Almighty God in the, in the fear of reverence. Make him to tremble before Almighty God. Say that we never, do, I will not do this wickedness because of my God. I will not do this, what the enemy wants me to do. It was the, it was the help of the Holy Spirit that makes Joseph to overcome flesh. That makes Joseph to overcome flesh. That he stood I but to I but and refused the enemy and said, No, I will not bear, I will not bite to your lies. I will not bite to your disobedience to God. I will honor my God. Praise Master Jesus. It was, it was, it was by the help of the Holy Spirit. 
And the pagan king saw the, 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 the spirit of the Lord God was upon Brother Joseph and he admitted and he said, oh, where else can I find such? The man that God, and the man that the spirit of God is upon. God Almighty, he wants you and I. Anywhere we go, people will recognize us. The spirit of God is upon you, is upon me. Not by saying it, they are just saying you are not by the fruit, Father Lord Jesus Christ says. By the fruit, we shall know them. They shall, we shall know them. It was by the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The pagan king knew that the spirit of the Lord God is upon uh, Joseph. The same spirit is with you. The day you are not accept him. Almighty God, Jesus Christ, as our Lord, our Savior, he dwells in you and all. Most of us, as a believer, we don't know, we don't believe Holy Spirit dwells in us. We don't believe, we don't surrender to him, we don't accept him to lead us. Brother Joseph allowed the Holy Spirit to lead him. And the, the, what came out, the good results that came out. Praise Master Jesus. Brother Joseph understood with the Holy Spirit, I cannot praise my Father, Almighty God. He yield to the, to the lady of the Holy Spirit. You and I must yield to the, to the lady of the Holy Spirit every day of our lives. Because this journey is a tough journey. This journey, you and I need power. This journey, we need power to go through, need power and the strength of the Lord to go through, to pass through till we finish. You can see, I can see what our brother Joseph went through by you and I reading the word of the Lord. The journey was not, it was not easy for brother Joseph. The journey was very tough for him. But the spirit of the Lord God was upon him, leading him, giving him the strength, the power to go through. He went through by the help of the Holy Spirit. Almighty God knows it's by the help of the Holy Spirit you and I can go through. That toward that day we will see him. We are still going to, we are still reading the word of the Lord. Let us say, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us open to the book of uh, Luke. Luke, Luke, the book of Luke to you. Hallelujah. The book of uh, Luke 20, 24, 49, Luke 24. 49. Let's see. The power of oh, oh, the sweet Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is power. Hallelujah. I thank God. You and I, we need the power of the Holy Ghost. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Verse 20, verse 49. I read in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. And uh, behold, I send the promises of my father upon you. But uh, tarry, in, tarry ye in uh, the city of uh, Jerusalem until ye being uh, endowed, uh, adorn, adorn with a uh, power from on high. Father Lord Jesus, told the disciples, don't go nowhere. Stay in this city. Stay here in Jerusalem. Stay here until the power, until the power of the most high God will come upon you. You can go out. The 
the power, Father Lord Jesus Christ was telling him, was the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit came on, when the, the, the power of God came on, on, on them, there was what? Boldness. The Holy Spirit now came upon them and there was power, there was spirit of bonus, and they can go out. They that were afraid before, not to say anything, not to go out. Now they went out with the power of the Holy Ghost. Now they can testify. For you and I are doing the work of God. For you and I are testifying the goodness of God. For you and I are representing our Father God anywhere we go. People see, we, we testify, we, 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 we evangelize. Beloved, is the power of God, is the Holy Spirit. Is that power of the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is the power that is upon you, that is in you, that makes you, you now you love to talk about Lord Jesus. You love to tell the people about our lovely Jesus, what he has done for you, giving your testimony to others. It was by the help of the Holy Spirit and it's still by the help of the Holy Spirit. We've got to understand without Holy Spirit, there is no way. We must surrender to him. The power is upon you right now. The power is upon me of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As Lord Jesus told the disciples, remain here. You people shouldn't go out. You people should remain, abide here, till the power of the Most High we endure on you. And they hear, and they, they, which they listen. When the power came on them, now it was easy for them to go out. It was easy for them to do the will of God. Let us rely on that power of God, that is the Holy Spirit. Let us re rely on the Holy Spirit every day. You and I wake up, let us greet Holy Spirit. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the, God, the Holy Spirit, good morning. For waking me up. See another blessing for them. Another glorious day. What a blessing. You are now receiving from God every moment of the day. We bless the name of the Lord. And we like us right now. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So, Holy Spirit wants to review to me. No, most of the time, we don't know the talents God has deposited in us. We don't know the talent. Most of us, we don't know the talents we have. Almighty God has given to us. But I thank God. I thank God for God. Praise Master Jesus. I thank God for God. That by the help of the Holy Spirit opening our eyes to know we have talents. He's the one that giving us the grace to recognize the talents we have. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit. You might be saying, I don't have any talent. You have, you've got a talent. All of us got talent. Rely on the Holy Spirit. You and I should depend on the Holy Spirit. He will reveal to you. He will make you to know. My daughter, you can do this. My son, you can do this. You think you don't have the talent for it? Start it. You will say, it will come to pass. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. If somebody could tell me that one day I will be able to stand in the presence of people and say, hey, all day, I will tell the person, you better go and think, go and think twice. 
But I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Standing here, talking to you, to myself, the word of God that he has given to, to me to deliver to you and to myself. I don't even know. Formerly, I could not able to express myself. You might not believe it. You will say, ah, don't, don't, don't say this. Unless, <laughs> if you know me before, you will know what I'm telling you. I'm telling you the truth, the facts. I couldn't be able to express myself. But I thank God for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came upon me. Now I can do what I think I could have not be able to do. And 100% I could have not able to even stand in the presence of people, talk to people with boldness. No, mm, mm, not me. But I thank God for the Spirit of, of God. No, that is why Father Lord Jesus Christ told them, stay here. Stay in this place. Don't go anywhere. See the power of the most I come upon you. That is Holy Spirit. We bless the name of the Lord. I would like us to open right now. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us open to the book of uh, uh, Exodus. The book of Exodus 31. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. The importance of the Holy Spirit in our lives, in our Christian's life. The book of uh, Exodus 31 verse 3, I read, praise Master Jesus, I read in Jesus' name. The book of Exodus 31 verse 3, and I have a feed him with the spirit of a God in wisdom and in understanding. And in the knowledge, and in the all manner of a work, workmanship. Praise Master Jesus. Holy Spirit, the word of the Lord says here, this man, Bezalia, Bezalia, God fed, fed, Bezalia was filled with the Spirit of God. He was filled with the spirit of God, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of uh, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge. To do what? To do workmanship. The curve, the the, the curvy things, the corny things that he was doing, it was by the help of the Holy Spirit. You might be. Somebody that invents one thing and another, you shouldn't think it's by your is by your is by your is by your grace, is by your wisdom that you did it. It's the spirit of God that is upon you, that gave you that talent, that gave you that that, that wisdom, that gave you that uh, understanding, knowledge to able to design what you have done. What you have invented. Praise Master Jesus. All of us, we were born with the talent. We were born with talent of God. But the enemy doesn't want us to know. Many of us, we say we, don't, we are not born with talent. We are. God that God created you and I born, done, brought us here to be born with talent. But the enemy, bearing the talent, telling us we lies, you don't have any talent. Keep your mouth shut. You cannot do this. Don't, 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 don't. Let us rely on the Holy Spirit. When we rely on the Holy Spirit, we continue leading you and all. The, th the talent you think you don't have, you will see that talent start coming up. One by one, you start doing what you couldn't be able to do before. Help of the, the wisdom of God. The understanding of God. The knowledge of God. You can, you can work out things. 
It might be you said, I don't have, I cannot cook. God will give you the ability. God will teach you how to cook by the help of the Holy Spirit. I could remember my sister in the Lord, we were discussing, she says, you know, she has a restaurant before. There was a particular food. She was not in that country, but people that knew where she was, the country she was, and the, the other, the, the country she was, and the food that she is cooking, those people that is in there, not really, they like the food, not like their own uh, food. Many people on the other country that is in that country, they don't, they don't, they don't like too much of uh, the country, the food that she is cooking, their own country uh, type of food. So now, when the when the other people, other country comes, now the people come that comes from another country, those ones are much in that country that she was. Oh, what they are asking, do you know? Do you know how to cook this food? When this one comes, do you, can you cook this food? When this one, how could you cook this food? Could you say, I don't know how to cook this food. And I don't have anybody from there that can teach me. I thank God for Holy Spirit. So she prayed from a dream. From dream, God came, Holy Spirit came and showed this, my sister in the Lord, how to prepare this food. It's not a country food. It's not a traditional food. No. Other country, traditional food. She saw herself, the, she saw herself, the man came. I think it, she said a man, said somebody came, and maybe a man or woman. She said, the person came, said, said, come, my daughter. You said you don't know how to prepare this food? She said, yes, she said, come, follow me. In that dream, she, she followed the, the person to the market in that dream. And she said, take this, take this. Take this, and she was just picking things from that in that dream in that market. He said, This is the things you use to prepare this food. Said, You will put this one first, you will sell this one first. He was just explaining everything to her in the dream. So when she woke up, she wrote the things that she, that person told her that they went to the market. They bought her things. She wrote everything down and she went to the market. And she bought everything that she saw in that dream, that she bought in that dream. She bought all of them now and she came because she's a, she has a restaurant. So now, and now she bought everything. Now she came, she's not preparing it. And she prepared exactly what the, 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 the instruction the person gave to her in the dream and she followed that instruction and the, the food came out perfectly. And the people now, that the, the, the other country that asking him is asking her, you don't have this kind of food. And when they came, he said, ah, I have this kind of, I have this food you'll be asking for. He, he sold it to them. And they ate, he said, wow, this is tasty. How do you get it? And he said, don't worry. She herself is the one that knows the wisdom of God that came upon, upon her. That she prayed, said, Father, I don't know how to prepare this food. And God led her. You see? Praise Master Jesus. You and I must rely on the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit teaches us things, what we think we, could do, we couldn't do. By the help of the Holy Spirit, we can do it. Let us rely on him. Holy Spirit, I called you as a minister. You have started, in Father God, I've called you as a minister to come and minister, choose you to be a minister in this way. Now you have started because you don't believe Holy Spirit. You think you can do it. You can, you can go into the administration by your own strength. You see now, now you fold up that ministry. By the help of the Holy Spirit, you can do all things. Not I and you can just imagine some of the ministers. You will see this some of the ministers, eh? 100% depend on the Holy Spirit. 
they might just preach from uh, how many hours, how many, how many sessions in one service? In, a, in let's say, in, in a Sunday, how many service? It might be two, it might be three, it might be before. Where are they getting that strength from? They got the strength from the Holy Spirit because with their own strength, they cannot even stand more than the one that was just talking, 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 not tiredness. Because of the Holy Spirit that depends on, they can preach, they can talk for hours. It's like they just started, refreshed. Let us learn, you and I, we should learn how to rely on the Holy Spirit. Depends on him. Because when we are doing the work on our own strength, we will be tired in the trickle of fire. We are fed up. Oh, I cannot do this anymore. Oh, I couldn't do this. Um, forget about it. It's not for me. It's for you. No, it's for you. All you, you have to learn. All you have to God, understanding of the Holy Spirit, that with Holy Spirit, you can do it. Praise Master Jesus. So this man, the Spirit of the Lord, he was filled with the Spirit of the Lord, Be uh, Bezalia. Bezalia was filled with the Spirit of the Lord, doing cutting, cutting, uh, cutting stone, uh, precious stones, carving uh, timbers, workmanship, the wisdom of God, the understanding of God, the knowledge of God. Please let us Turn to the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation 2.9. The Holy Spirit is the one that reveals things to you and I. Holy Spirit is the one that reveals things to you and I. The secret things you and I don't know. Hallelujah, he will review to you and I what we should do. Hallelujah. With that, we bless the God for, for God. The book of Holy Spirit, the book of Revelation 2, 9. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Revelation. Hallelujah. 2, 9. I know thy works and the tribulation and the poverty, but a thou art a rich, and I know the blasphemy of them, which I say they are Jews and are not, but are their synagogues of Satan, for revealing things to you and all. Before you and I, we know what is not of God is by the help of the Holy Spirit. You might have been in a, in a, in a congregation that you don't know. This congregation doesn't be, uh, Holy Spirit is not here. I don't have to fellowship in here. This place that even though the name is written, is written there, synagogues, church is not. The church of God. It's the same and God of Satan. It's the Holy Spirit that will help you to, that will reveal to you. My daughter, my son, this place that you call, you think is church, the road, that this thing is written there, the name is written there, church. This is not my church. I'm not here. This is a church of Satan. I'm not here. Please pack your bag and baggage leave. Most of us, we can testify those these things. Most of, no, most, of, most of us, we can testify that we saw ourselves in a, in a, in a, in a revelation, in a dream. Oh, Holy Spirit is telling us, this place that you are fellowship, I'm not here. Praise Master Jesus. He is the one that will reveal to you, Anna. That is why we must rely on you. He is the one that will reveal to you, that will lead you, because in that way... It, He's our leader, Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ says, I will send you a comforter, a helper. The book of in Romans, this said there, that Holy Spirit is our leader. When he leads, he's in the front. We are behind him. 
follow him. What he's doing, we are doing it. Let us depend on him, the Holy Spirit. We are talking about the importance of the Holy Spirit today. The leading of the Holy Spirit, because when he leads you and I, we will never fail. The true spirit of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I would like us to open to the book, the book of Romans, Romans 8. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. The book of Romans 8, verse 20, 27. I read in Jesus' name. I read in Jesus' name. And he that is such at their hands, Know it what is in the mind of uh, the spirit. Because he make an intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Holy Spirit. He is the one that makes intercession for you and I. He's our intercessor. Holy Spirit is your intercessor. Is my intercessor interceding for us when we are praying. In our sleep, Holy Spirit interceding for us. I thank God for God. Father God said, pray. And the Father Lord Jesus Christ said, with you and I, we should pray with us. And with us. We should pray always. We, we are all to pray always, not to, not to fall into temptation. The work of the flesh. How you and I can pray without ceasing is by the help of the Holy Spirit. Because your spirit connects you, Father God, your spirit connects to the spirit of God, helping you to pray all the time. Praise Master Jesus. Let us learn. Let us learn how to rely on our Holy Spirit, the spirit of the living God. Our intercessor, our leader. Beloved, it's by the help of the Holy Spirit, you and I can do all things. Praise Master Jesus. And we like us to turn to the book of uh, Luke 2. The book of Luke 2. We thank God for God. We bless his holy name. The book of Luke. The book of Luke 2, 25 to 26. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Okay. The book of Luke, 25 to 26, I read in Jesus' name. And behold, there was a man in the Jerusalem whose name was a Simon. And the same man was a just and a devout. Waiting for the consolation of uh, uh, Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And uh, it was uh, revealed unto him uh, by the Holy Ghost that uh, he should not uh, see death before he had then uh, seen the Lord, the Lord Christ. It was by the Holy Spirit. That that man knew I must, as Father God said, I should not, I will not see dead. I will not see dead until I see my Lord. It was Holy Spirit, Holy God that revealed to Simon, to, Sa Sa to Sa Sa Simon, to Simon. And tell Simon, you will not, you, you won't see dead till you see the Lord, the Christ. And exactly what happened. And he saw the Lord. He saw the Lord. Saw that baby Jesus was brought in the temple. And that man rejoiced. Holy Spirit have told him before the time. Holy Spirit wants to review things to you. Let us rely on him. 
Let us rely on the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Please let us turn to the book of, uh, of uh, John 3. The book of John 3, 8. The book of John 3, 8. 3, 8. I read. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. The wind that blow it, where it at least, and the thou hear the sound that they are off. But a can't say no to tell. When say it a comet, and the weather it a goes, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Amen. So is everyone that born of the Spirit. When the enemy planning evil against you, the thing you will not know, God will just reveal to you, my son, my daughter, look what is going on. Look what the enemy planning against you. Don't go here. Don't do this. He might tell you that food you want to go and eat. Look what has happened. Please don't eat. Don't go there. Holy Spirit will reveal to you. As Father God says here. Sweet Holy Spirit. Excellent daddy. He will go, he will tell you, he said, uh, he said, everyone that he is a born of uh, the spirit, he will lead you. My son, my daughter, here you go. Don't go here. Don't do this. Don't do this. That is why he's our leader. You are born of the spirit. I am born of the spirit of the living God. Let us continue relying, depending on our Holy Spirit. It's for your good, it's for my good. Let us put it in practice. Let us work on him every day in our lives. Ministers of God, wherever you are, may the Lord bless you. Please remind your congregation the importance of the Holy Spirit, the vital role Holy Spirit is playing in our lives as a Christian, as a believer. For us to depend on him. Praise Master Jesus. He's our helper. We have a helper. Why should they be struggling when we have a helper that can help us? Let us depend on him. Welcome him in our lives every day. May the Lord bless you. This is the word of the Lord today. Reminding you and I the importance of the Holy Spirit. For you and I to depend on him, trust in him, rely on him. It was everything for you and I. As he did for Brother Joseph. And the pagan king saw the spirit of the Lord God is upon Joseph. People, God wants people to see you and see that the spirit of the Lord God is upon you and I. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep all of us safe. Let us put it in practice in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Because it's the Holy Spirit that can help you and I to overcome the flesh. Because the flesh is working hard every day. But I thank God. Let us allow Holy Spirit to help us to win the battle that are going on in our mind. By the help of the Holy Spirit, we will overcome in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Ooh. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, my Bible. Oh, <laughs> just now. I bless the name of the Lord. I bless God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of all the Asians of the Father, thank you for this message. Father, mighty God, you are worthy to be praised, Almighty God. Thank you for your sweet Holy Spirit that you bless us with. Father, mighty God, I see this word in our heart, O oh Lord, and I help us to acknowledge Holy Spirit every day in our lives. Oh, mighty God, that mighty God, I ask you, Lord, I see this message with the pressure blood of jesus christ father use this message to win souls to your kingdom pass us to your children to your to your kingdom father in jesus mighty name i have prayed amen may the lord bless you and the lord bless you in jesus and my brothers my sisters my my mom is out there my dad is may the lord bless you may you maybe you haven't given your life to jesus please i will i will i will like you to do so I would like you to do so. He worth everything for you and I. Our lovely Jesus is coming very soon. He's coming to come and take all his sons, all his daughter home. When he comes, he wants you to be one of them. He doesn't want you to cry, had I know. Please, there is life after death. 
Maybe you don't believe there is life after death. Please, there is life after death. The moment we close our eye in death, the life, everlasting life starts. The everlasting life began, begin. Everlasting life begins, why? Because eternity has no beginning, it has no ending. It begins from that moment, we close our eye in death. From everlasting to everlasting. Please, give your life to Jesus. He loves you. He doesn't want to see you on that day. That you are waiting when it comes. He will bypass you and go to his, one of his child, the other child. No, he wants to come and take you, take all his children home to enjoy with him. Heaven is a glorious, glorious place. Please don't miss it. There is hellfire. Hellfire is a terrible place. Please don't go there. Lord Jesus loves you. Please give your life to Jesus. He cares for you. He came because of you, because of me. He died for us. He rose up for us. He lived for us. He's coming back. He went to heaven. He's coming back to take all his children home. Please give lovely Jesus that loves you so much. Please give your life to him. Accept him to be your Lord, your Savior. It will do you good, beloved, wherever you are. Please, don't turn this offer away. The best offer you have ever had, hear and receive right now. Accept this great offer. It will do you good on this earth. When you will close your eye in death, it will do you good from everlasting to everlasting. Go into heaven, enjoy Father God, enjoy Lord Jesus. Enjoy everything that is in the heaven, the holy angels, the saints, enjoy everything. Enjoy your mansion that our Father God promised us. Heaven, beautiful place. The street in heaven is gold. The sand in heaven is gold. Now we have sand here. But heaven is gold. Those sand in the heaven is gold. God wants you to enjoy with him. It's because of that he sent his son to pay the price for all humanity. Depends if you can accept him. Please accept him. Give him your life. Let us pray. So we pray, pray. Let the prayer come from the depth of your heart. Accept him. Lord Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Dear God, I am a sinner and I need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shared his precious love for me and I died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invited Jesus Christ to come into my heart as my personal savior. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Happy for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the love of God. I welcome you right now in the body of Christ. I welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you in Jesus' name. The angels of the Lord, they are jubilating right now, dancing because you have given your life to Jesus. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. May the Lord bless you. Remain blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Please buy Holy Bible. Be reading the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. And please look for a Bible church and tell your, 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 your pastor that you want water baptism. It is my prayer that we have time to make that water baptism for you. Lord Jesus Christ baptized. Lord Jesus Christ told us to do the same. May the Lord give them the grace to make that water baptism for you. Remain blessed. Remain safe by the help of the Holy Spirit. Depend on the Holy Spirit. He's with you right now. He dwells in you. He lives in you. Our leader, 
please rely on him to lead you through this journey to heaven in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, virtuous women, wherever you are, you, may the Lord bless you. Oh, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you, virtuous women. Ah, virtuous women, wherever you are in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south, may the Lord bless you. If you can see the joy you are bringing to Father Lord Jesus Christ's heart, if you can see Lord Jesus Christ's face right now is full of joy, smile, just smiling at you, smiling at you, my daughter. Oh, you are making me to be so proud. He's proud of you. Virtuous woman. Lord Jesus Christ is proud of you for holding on to him, for holding on to him, persevering. God Almighty God, he says it. Passing through that hardship, passing through that persecutions, passing through that uh, having those uh, second those circumstances that is not uh, ple pleasant, you know. He's with there for you. Please, virtuous women, please don't go, don't give up. There is a great reward. You and I, by the grace of God, we, we shall not labor in vain. You and I. By the grace of God, we shall see our lovely Jesus on the, on the last day. By the grace of God, we will enjoy with him from everlasting to everlasting. Let us continue holding on, striving to perfection, evangelizing. As how you can able, you can able to evangelize life. Let us do it. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord keep you. Let his faith continue shining upon you. May the Lord let his glory rest upon you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, my mommies, my daddies, please, if you have a ball pen there, please, I would like to call some scripture for you in a quiet time. Please read it. It is my prayer. You will, it is my prayer. You will, you will understand the word of the Lord and put the word of the Lord in practice. Praise Master Jesus. You know, when we read the word of the law, it's one thing. Putting the word of the law in practice is another thing. May the Lord bless you because many of us, we know the word of the Lord. And many of us, we know the word of the Lord, but we don't put it in practice. So if we don't put it in practice, it makes no sense. The enemy can defeat us at any time because when we don't put it in practice we need the word of the lord we need to put it in practice when the enemy comes to tempt you when the enemies come to to try to defeat you you will use the word of the lord the sword that god has given to you and i that is his word that you put in practice you will use it against the enemy of your soul of my soul praise master jesus let me call the scriptures the book of Psalms. 135, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, 7, 25 to 26. The book of Isaiah, 31, 7. The book of Isaiah 30, 22. The book of 2 Kings 9, 30. The book of Ezekiel 23, 40. The book of Jeremiah 4, 30. The book of Deuteronomy 22, 5. The book of Revelation 21, 8. The book of Revelation 20, 15. The book of first, first Corinthians 11, 5 to 6. The book of James 
4, verse 4. The book of 1 John 2, 4. May the Lord give you another grace to put the word of God in practice every day. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank God for the word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. My sisters, my brothers, my mommies, my daddies, may the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. My, my sisters out there, my mommies out there. The word of the Lord says, faith coming by hearing, by hearing the word of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As the word of the Lord says to you and I, daughters of Zion, that we women, we should dress modestly. That is the word of God. May the Lord give you the grace to put it in practice, to have light on it, to dress modestly. The dressing that we please, Almighty God, that you see yourself, if our lovely Jesus Christ is in, the, in, in your presence, you came to visit Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot come with half naked to come and greet him. Isn't it? Please, let us dress modestly. If we are the one that, that being the one you, you dress, you like to open your body, have uh, no, the put on dress, the breast, your breast is open and showing, no, the back, you know, let us dress. As a woman, let us dress modestly. May the Lord give us the grace to do that. As a woman, as Father God said, we should not put on what potato man, trazis potato man. Please pray never in, pray over it. And ask God, He will reveal to you. Property of Jezebel, makeup, lipstick, all these things on them. What is it called? Foundation, they call it. Eye pencil, all this. Fake nails, fake hair, attachment, wig, with all these things are property of Jezebel. So property of Jezebel cannot enter heaven. That one you and I must know. Jezebel is enemy of God. The enemy property will not enter the kingdom of God. Please, as Father God said, our hair as a woman, is our glory. We should not defy it. Putting all those Jezebel property on our hair is defilement. All those weak, we've won, relaxing your hair, attachment. Please, let us get rid of those things. God will, God will reward anything that you, you have given up for Jesus. He will pay you back. There is a great reward attached to it in holiness, in righteousness. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord give you the grace. May the Lord give us the grace in the name of Jesus Christ to obey Almighty God. He loves you and I. Let us honor him. And he said, if we, you and I honor him, he will honor us. That is the word of the Lord. May the Lord help us. All those and the one that bleaching their skin, packing tattoo, with one in packing tattoos, piercing, piercing, packing jewelry on so your body, please. Your body and my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So we should not pack all those things that is defined, defined to define our body. May the Lord bless all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. So my brothers are there. The word of the Lord says that men are the glory of God. If you are the one that's put in that saggy your trousers, please, you are the might of God. You are the, you are the glory of God. Please pull it up. Eh? The word, the Father God said, if you are not, hmm, uh, love the word. The word, the love of the uh, word, the love of uh, the Father is not in us. Say, so if you are not, we are a friend to the word. That means the system. The word made the system, the system in the world. If you and I love the system, those systems in the world, that is not the system of God. We are enemy of God. And God doesn't want you and I to be his enemy. Packing those tattoo on our body, all those, uh, all those what the, the sagging, that is system of the world. We should not do it with them. 
or just flatten your hair as a man, weaving it as a man, please, bleaching your skin. Those sons are the systems, of, the system of the world, please. When we are doing all those things that the worldly people are doing, Father God said, we are his enemy. And he doesn't want us to be his enemy. Men that be the glory of, of God, why should them now make it for, may, and being a friend of the system of the world? Let us look unto Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Dread, let us cut your hair decent. Dread this and pull your trousers up, buckle it. God will reward you. My brothers, my, my daddies, may the Lord bless all of us and help us to walk in our hearts. In our hearts. In our hearts. <laughs> in Jesus' name, amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. My brother, my mom is my daddy is out there. May the Lord bless you. I love you all with the love of God. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I thank God for you, for your life, for giving you the grace. To live to, to many years. It gave you many years. Now you can see gray hair on your hair. Please don't dye it. You shouldn't dye your hair. Don't color it. Don't color that, that gray hair that Almighty God that bless you with it. Please don't cover it up. Father God, bless you with it. Enjoy it. Maybe you might, you might not uh, hear that uh, you haven't heard that. By you coloring your hair, dyeing your hair, you are sinning against your maker. Go to the book of Matthew 5. Read it. God will speak to you. We minister to you. Please. That you're dyeing your hair. You are using it to sin against your maker. Please cut that dyes off. Let the glory of God, that gray hair come up beautifully for his own glory, for almighty God glory. May the Lord bless you all. I love you all with the love of God. This is, a, this is the message today of the importance of the Holy Spirit. The vital role Holy Spirit is playing in our lives. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep all of us safe till he comes back. If our lovely Jesus is coming today, what a joy. All of us, we cut up to the sky and go and meet our lovely Jesus. So shall we be with him from everlasting to everlasting forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, bless in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God, amen. Bless the name of the Lord.